I got friends only wanna talk business. I got expensive, cause when is expensive. I got expensive, cause when is expensive. I've been reading all the war. And I've been shutting out the stars. Yeah, cause when it rain and it pours. Yeah, and I'm ready for some more. Yeah. Hi, and welcome to the special episode of Put That Coffee Down, the freight sales podcast for closers here at the Enterprise Fleet Summit. Uh, we're coming to you today with a special episode with Mitchell Ochevsky uh, with Skybits. He's the director of marketing, and we're going to talk about marketing in this really tight environment, tight capacity environment that we are all in right now. Hopefully this will, will continue. Uh, it's good news for enterprise-based fleets and it's good news for Skybits as well. Welcome to the show, Mitchell. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Let's talk about you know marketing in the, the, the times of, of this high rejection environment, right? So we have OTRI outbound tender rejections that are north of, of 23, 24, 25% and have been consistently uh, this tight for for months now, and and by all signals, it's, it's going to continue. And, and really, how can enterprise fleets maximize these uh, the, these rates and in business uh, by using data, data driven decisions to increase your hauling capacity? Uh, yeah. That's it. You took the you took the uh, my talking points right away. I love it, Kevin. That's awesome. But yeah, I mean. What we what we look at in uh, our environment is developing um, data driven uh, decisions, and I think that's really important because um, data driven decisions are going to help you drive efficiencies within your business. You want to follow the inefficiencies, and at Skybits, what we do is we help show you the data and show you those efficiencies, whether it's idle times or trailer turns, um, whether you're looking at a specific facility and you want to um, understand, you know, is that is that working for you? Um, what are the efficiencies or inefficiencies around that facility so you can have faster turn times? At Skybits, our tools help sh provide that visibility um, to drive the, you know, the smart decisions, decisions that are profitable for your business. So, so we're talking about data. Let's talk about the, the key KPIs and metrics that are the, the most important when we're talking about hauling capacity. What are those, Mitchell? Yeah, some of those uh, really important metrics uh, for increasing efficiencies are understanding your idle times, understanding your trailer turns, um, whether you're using detention billing on a facility, and understanding you know how do you get in and out of that facility, how do you prior how are you prioritized on that facility? So at Skybits, our data can help illuminate some of the inefficiencies that are um, maybe trapped in some of your turn times or idle times, um, so that you can make adjustments. Yeah, turn times and idle times are, are very important, so, and that kind of goes right in hand in hand with dwell times, right? And dwell times can e either make or, or break you in certain locations and, and facilities. How does uh, Skybits kind of uh, provide data to, to eliminate that? So, you know, we have, uh, of course, dots on a map, right? You got to know where your assets are, when you can pick them up. We can also offer sort of a binary uh loaded or unloaded. And now with volumetric and AI, you can actually tell the cube and floor space that's available in that trailer. So in this drop and hook, uh, quick turn time environment, um, not only do you want to know if that's loaded or unloaded, but you kind of need to know if there's any more capacity that you can use to increase that hauling capacity or take on um, you know, a, a quick uh, spot load to get your trailer back, right? If, if you're, you know, a little bit concerned about um, t bringing that trailer back. You can find out, you know, where it is on the map, if there's more room or, or if you can stop and pick up another load. So, the, so it's really about the capacity, the, the, the hauling capacity is, is really looking at a detailed look at what's loaded onto that trailer and, and how to really maximize the, the, the square footage inside of it. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, and that's where um, that's where we're going with our technologies at Skybits. Um, we're really using image processing, and it's powered by Compology, our Sky Camera, which tells you cube floor space. You know what's in that trailer. You can get beautiful images that are high res, so you can really understand if if you can actually increase that hauling capacity, or if it's full, or you know other event driven um, uh, event driven image capture. 
Yeah, and and when we talk about new technologies and KPIs, one of the, the, the best KPIs that, that we all like to measure is maybe return on investment, but but certainly va- adding value to your customers and being able to deliver a, a better service overall, right? Absolutely. I mean, I think with technology, it's not just a one part uh, decision, right? That's that's one part of it is deciding on your solution provider, vetting that out with your organization. But the other part of that is onboarding and ensuring that all the folks on your team that um, use this technology know how to use it, know how to look at the data, read the data to find those inefficiencies. So really, when we look at customer success and what that means to to our customers, that's what we're thinking about. How do we not only get those um, assets on the trailer and tracked, but also how do the folks on the team know how to read that data to drive those efficiencies, increase that hauling capacity, and and really leverage the technology to drive those efficiencies? Because that's what's going to hit the bottom line, right? Um, making those smarter decisions, um, weeding out any inefficiencies, you know, in, improving uh, turn times, your trailer times, and going in and out of facilities. So when we think about customer success and and onboarding new technologies, that's that's really our approach, and we do so in a data-driven manner. And what our proven uh, onboarding customer customer experience team, whoa, I'm getting really excited about a customer (laughs) experience here. Um, You should. You should. That's what what makes or breaks a a business, right, is is customer experience. And coming from a, a sales background and customer service background, having tools that really empower uh, those teams to make better decisions, to, to make their life easier, to, to be able to, to offer value is, is, is so important. I, I can't be understated, really. Um, it, those are important parts of any, any industry, any business. Trucking and, and fleets are, are certainly part of that, right? I mean, that, that's a big key ingredient for the success of a trucking company. Exactly. I mean, I read something recently um, in one of my uh, marketing books, but it was a stat from Salesforce, which is 80% of uh, customers think that the experience, the customer sp- experience is just as valuable as the product itself. So it's not just about providing great service um, through technology, but it's also you know, engaging with your customers and checking in with them, seeing how they're doing. And, and that's really what Skybits helps our customers do, right? They know where everything's at. They know how to respond to their customers, give them real-time updates um, on their different uh, shipping. So I think customer experience is is so critical to anyone's business, um, especially our carriers, our customers. Yeah, I mean, it's it's what separates good trucking companies from bad trucking companies is that, that service level, that customer service level, because it's freight, it's logistics, it's trucking, things go wrong. What can go, it's Murphy's Law, right? What can go wrong will go wrong. And to, to have better communication, uh, better service levels, uh, to, to, to manage that that freight moving down the road is the, the one of the key differentiators uh, between trucking fleets and it's what they sell on as well. Absolutely. And now more than ever, it's important to be competitive and to be agile and to respond to the market um, as quickly as you can. And, and that's that's really what our Skybits were all about is increasing that hauling capacity and in, in helping our customers make those quick decisions, those real time data driven decisions in order to, um, of course, impact their bottom line, right? It's a, it's a it's an exciting market. It's of course challenging. There's every time we turn around there's, you know, a ship trapped in the canal, there's freight levels going all over the place. I mean, it's it things are always changing. Something's always going to come up. So having the data at your fingertips to better inform your customers is really important. And that's what Skybits offers our customers. It, it is. Uh, things always, uh, you know, Suez Canal just happened uh, a couple of weeks ago. It's it's been uh, been an interesting time in a number of different areas with with freight and global shipping, and um, it is, it's great to have companies like Skybits uh, or providing transparency and data to the market. Mitchell, um, how does our audience reach out and learn more about Skybits and uh, what you guys offer? skybits.com check it out reach out to us Uh, otherwise you could check out our awesome freight waves uh, booth we've got some materials there uh, some videos Uh, you can get to know more about our products Um, otherwise just log on to skybits.com 
yeah, uh, to check out Skybit's booth, just go to live.freightwaves.com. It's right there on the page. Uh, go in and uh, roam around and, and ask uh, some of some really great key questions. But th- thank you again, Mitchell, for joining us today. And um, let, let's get back to the, the Enterprise Fleet Summit and our next session. I got friends only want to talk business. I got expensive, because winning's expensive. I got expensive, because winning's expensive. I've been reading all the work. And I've been shutting down the stars. Yeah, because when it rains, then it pours. Yeah, and I'm ready for some more. Yeah.